And now for something completely different. Welcome to Chattanooga, where nobody knows how to drive. I would have filmed trying to get on through the stupid I-75 I to I-24 merge, but uh, yeah, nobody knows how to drive, and you know, filming's technically illegal, so womp womp. But here we are, Tennessee, made it out of Georgia. Here we go, part of the way there, got a later start than I wanted, but here we go, beep beep. beep, beep. Well, looky here, we made it to Nashville. Wow! Wow! Look at that, Randall Opry, downtown Nashville. Isn't it fantastic? Traffic sucks, but what else is new? Actually, it's not that bad, but you know, it's New Year's Day. Oh look, the sign says Louisville, go left. Oh no wait, it's right! Whee! Whee! Seahorsey! Probably not going to get a good view of the Opry again, Grand Ole Opry in downtown. This semi truck's really cutting that turn a little tight there, isn't he, buddy? Just a little, little. Just a little, little. There we go. Nashville! Nashville! Beep boop. Bye bye. Well, we're in Kentucky. Been here before. Uh, I 24 West is still kind of pitted and roached out. They haven't fixed that since ever. And, uh, I don't know, flip Mitch McConnell off or something for me, because, well, he's federal, not state, but whatever! We're in Kentucky, it's nice and kind of cloudy, uh, it's getting darkish, it's, uh, 5.05 local time, uh, 6.05 for what I'm used to. Probably gonna go for maybe another half hour to an hour, get as far as I can today. Anyway! That's the first day of the drive. I've made it pretty far. Pretty satisfied with the progress. And it looks fantastic out there. Say hi to Pocky, guys. What does Pocky have to say for you? Oh, hello! We've made it to St. Louis. And now I need to figure out which one gets me to 70. Oh, exit only. I need to get one more lane over. Look at that. Because I killed maps to uh, videotape for you, which is also illegal. So, um, you know, that's fantastic. But yeah, I've got to get on 70. Or is this the version of 70 I need to get on? I didn't check maps. Anyway, we're at St. Louis. Um, actually, this isn't the version of 70 I need to be on, so we've, we've got to fix this. Goodbye. I already know that because I remembered my maps. See, it's called paying attention, and it's not what I'm doing because I'm busy filming. Tee hee! But as Pocky says, we made it to St. Louis. Pocky says say hello to Gateway Arch over there if you can see it. Yes, you can see it. Look, hooray! St. Louis! Hello, we made it onto I-70. It was the correct exit. I was stupid and should have paid more attention. So here we are. And yes, we're speeding, but don't worry about it. Everyone is. Goodbye! Pocky says, welcome to Kansas City. This is the Missouri side. Also, this is the worst time of day to be doing this because it's about to be a rush hour and the sun is directly in my face, as you can see. But we have made it to Kansas City. Hooray! Look at the gas. Gotta have this. I need to stay on 70 West. Yes, this is good. I checked this time, unlike last time. 
And uh, yeah, I'll say go Chiefs. Uh, go Chiefs. Because uh, Dad used to love the Chiefs. So, go Chiefies. Rain or shine. Yeah, Kansas City. We're making some progress, eh? Terrible accents. Yes, I know, Pocky. Shame me. Also, we're speeding, but that's never not the case. Don't worry about it. But look! Skyscrapers. Hey, isn't Kansas City um, in the show when they did, uh, what's it called, The Last of Us, when they did the TV show for The Last of Us, isn't this where Joel and Ellie ended up? Was, they were on 70 to get to Denver, weren't they? And then head up to, yeah, to Salt Lake City. So this must have been one of the routes they used for the filming, maybe? Was somewhere around here? I have no idea. Uh, I didn't pay that much attention in the show to where things happened. Also, traffic, please, do not be flooring your brakes. I'm trying to film a video here illegally, don't you know, and scan for cops at the same time. Also, probably a great time to be coming into downtown Kansas City is rush hour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Brilliant choice, yes, I know. I should have gotten an earlier start. Tell me, tell me that tomorrow, okay? I will be getting an earlier start tomorrow. But yes, Pucky says welcome to Kansas City. So I'm pretty sure the video is trash, <laughs> but I am somewhere. I'm not gonna say where at the moment, but I'm somewhere. I've gotten my car set up for the night. Uh, I don't think my phone can get it, but you can see the stars. There's a little highway nearby. But yeah, we got the little light over here. I'm parked over here off the beaten path with Blue Beru. I got my bed set up for the night. I'm in shorts because why wouldn't I be? It's only like 29 degrees, which is absolutely fantastic. I got my blankets and everything ready to go. So yeah. It's gonna be a fun night. There's some owls over there and there's a lake over there. And I heard some coyotes earlier, but I think they hecked off because they heard me. But you can see your breath, but it's not too bad. How's that for the middle of Kansas? Can't beat free parking in a free campsite. Well, I'm gonna tuck in even though it's probably only like eight o'clock local time for me, Georgia time. Anyway, good night y'all. So I've gotten in the car. Um, I got down just into shorts, t-shirts, and socks. I've got my puffy jacket here for in the morning if I need it. I'm about to get my pillow under me. I got my keys right next to me. I need to lock the car. Beep boop. There we go. Locked in for the night. Um, right now, I am just in the clothes I said I was in. I am in partially in the sleeping bag, it's unzipped. I have this alpaca um, wool sleeping bag liner that I've got into inside the sleeping bag. And right now I feel pretty warm. Uh, it's just hard to keep my neck craned up to take the video. And over here, I've got this Sherpa wool blanket stashed in the corner that I can pull over and then under the puffy, I have an actual wool blanket. Uh, I've got the windows cracked to prevent condensation, but it still feels plenty warm in here. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna tuck in for the night. It's only, let's see if I can get that to show on my watch. Come on, watch. 829 in Georgia, and I'm in central time, so it's an hour earlier, it's 7.30, and I'm preparing to go to bed. So in the future, I should probably not park near a lake where uh, it gets foggy, because uh, my windows are all fogged up, it's all frosty outside. Mm, now I've gotta go pee, I'm gonna have to freeze my balls off to do that. Uh, dolphin kept me nice and warm though. Uh, I'm actually out of the sleeping bag now, I just opened the hatch. The birds are singing. It's actually not that cold, um, but it will be as soon as I step out. Whew. All right, it's time to get going for the day. It is eight o'clock local time here in Kansas. Yeah, even if I wasn't near the lake though, the dew point here, um, just where I'm at, is 87%. Or not dew point, shoot, that's the wrong word. I'm tired, I just woke up. That's a lie, I've been up for an hour and a half. <laughs> The average humidity is 87% in the town that I'm located near. Not even, that's not including this exact location. So, rip. So I just got the front windshield scraped off. And 
it's not snowing like it's not like precipitating from the sky but the fog is literally freezing and that's why everything's like even the ground you know not just condensate freezing but it's literally dripping off icing out of the sky i should say not dripping anyway i put my hoodie on but i'm actually still in shorts look i'm even in sockies Woo! and my little plippy ploppies plippy ploppies make for slippy sloppies well, I have made it into Colorado, maybe about 15 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, something like that. Lovely, beautiful snow. Oh, I have missed snow so much. It is Pocky's first time seeing snow. But yes, we have snow. We have made it. Not quite to the final destination, but at least to the state that holds the final destination. Well, Pocky says, welcome to Menver. Well, sort of. We're not exactly there just yet. Not quite, but we'll get in there, we'll get in there. You could see the skyscrapers a minute ago. Uh, I need to read these road signs. I maybe should have waited till after I did all this to film. Uh, but it's fine, I can read road signs. Why did I get behind this guy? They're going slow. Excuse me, coming back over. I need to stay on uh, blip, 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 70. Denver International Airport. Hey, I've been there before. I've done that. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Got the postcard. Alright. Colorado Springs and Fort Collins. Alright, uh, I need to stay on 70 West. Yes, to Menver. I will add to the men in Menver. As we try and let some of these cars her John. Let's see who we're gonna let in. Uh, we kind of have to scoot over, don't we? That's kind of a rough setup, isn't it, guys? Because I need to be turning right soon. Do both lanes go right? I don't you do. Yes, they do. I can see the sign from here. Ah, buddy, thank you. You useless reptile for pulling out in front of me. The mountains, though. We can see the mountains. Yes, dude, plus, plus, just foot on gas pedal. Thank you. Thank you. Whee! Aurora City Limit. Hello, we have made it. Denver Airport's all the way heck off over there. Denver itself's all the way heck off over there. Cocky says, there's snow ahead! That is right, we're going up. I-70 out of Menver. And look, we have a snow ahead. Also, it's a sad day when I know how to use gearing to go slow down the slopes and everyone else just wants to ride their brakes. Like, learn how to use your transmission to help you out, guys. It's not that hard, I promise. Do they not teach that in Colorado driver's ed? Apparently not. So pretty. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Someone's already got that generator running for today. A can of beans for dinner for tonight. This ain't an action cam, it's my phone, so we'll see how well this goes. Yeah, I can't get a good picture of it well. Shredding, but it's a little chunky, but woo, that's nice. Heck yeah, woo, woo. A little stiff. I got some moguls under this paddle. Anyway, it's a good snowy day. I mean, it's already pretty well tracked out, but... Powder! It's Usain Volt, guys!
so bad you can't see more than 20 feet. Woo! into the parking lot. What is this? Hello? Nobody asked for 20 mile an hour winds? Hello? Hello? I'm trying to pee in peace here. Come on, not pieces. It's too cold. Well, now's not the kind of night one wants to be homeless on. Holy cow. This wheeled in out of nowhere in like 30 seconds time. Hello? It's not heavy flakes. It's not that thick yet. Holy cow. Take a piss in peace. Yes. Look at this. My word. Well. Time to go to bed, I suppose, right? No better time than now. Ah, oh, I parked the wrong way. Better hurry. Well, I think we limited the damage. I probably should have wheeled the car around the other way. Skylight in the back here. A little baby window slightly cleaned off on the inside from condensation. Let's try to get into it here. Ugh. It is a literal blizzard. It's fantastic. Anyway, I'm going back to bed. Night night. So it's two in the morning. I had to roll the windows up further because snow is getting in, even with the window protectors up. It's really hard to tell through the crack in the window, but the windows themselves are too covered to see well. But it is a literal blizzard out there. Um, from where I can see when I can actually get my eye in the right position, visibility's down to like less than 50 feet, so. <sighs> Plus I had to pee, so it's pee in a bottle time. Fun. Good night. I'm going back to bed. Bye-bye. Another wonderful snow day for today. I didn't see that it's gonna hit like 40 degrees so I was like ah just a little under armor t-shirt is fine ah just my snow jacket is fine ah I know it windy I know it very windy oh. Kirby! it fucking wind Well, it's not my rich people, but it's someone's rich people. So I'm not sure how well the lines are gonna show up on my camera on video mode. But if we look off to the right, over by these trees, back on my toe, all these straight lines right there. Up to the hill on that tree line. That's me just nuking it. Woohoo! Well, you yeah, speed demon be back at it again with them straight lines, because there's no better place to do it than here, especially on a slower day like today. Mm, there they are. Hello, beautiful straight lines. Time to add some more. Woohoo! Looks like it's gonna be a good day to just grip it and rip it. Doesn't look like anybody's been straight lining yet. It's okay, I can fix that. Woo! 
Well, I wonder whose straight line right next to the trees that is. Hmm. Might be some of the last straight lines of the season next to the trees for me. Gotta love those straight lines. Woo. One more day left. Unless something comes up. Fingers crossed it doesn't. But it's been a blast. Mr. Straggler coming down. And oh look, Straggler Buddy even further up. There's a ton, can't see them, but they're all up in the hills over there along the road and all the way up back in the snow mass. Driving while I listen to the Demon Slayer soundtrack. Don't at me. So beautiful. I poured that line right there so hard. Oh. Yeah, Vale's cool and all, but what about the mountains up there? Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Goodbye, Menver. There's one last man in Menver. Now, I did try to steal all those girls, though, so the rest of you guys don't have any, but yeah, I only succeeded partially. Anyway, bye bye. Oh, come on. Zoom. Do, do the thing. Whoa! Hockey, watch the road. We're trying to drive. There we go. There it is. Look at every one of them red blinky lights out there. Each one of them is a fan, and it be blowing, and it blowing and eating my gas mileage up. Turn them fans off. My, my gas mileage going to shit. Turn them fans. Honky honky.